All right, so it's that time again where we get a bunch of upcoming leaked skins, compliments of an Epic Games survey that goes out to a few select random people. So in these surveys, you'll find quite literally images of future skins. They could be battle pass skins, they could be item shop skins, they could be crew skins, and they more or less just want people's feedback on them. So they'll show you an image of the skin and they'll say, what do you think about this? Do you want to see this in the item shop? Do you want to see this in the battle pass, crew pack, etc.? So then people out there take all the images and put them on social media for everyone to see. So credit to Fire Monkey for doing this. He is a data miner and he upscaled all the images to some pristine quality so that we could look at them. So there's over 75 leaked skins. And like I said, these could be battle pass skins. We've quite literally seen battle pass skins in previous surveys. You just don't know which ones they're going to be. So I'll be showing all these skins. It's probably going to be a longer video since I give my thoughts and opinions on all of them as well. So here we go. Let's jump right in. So here we go. We're starting with this guy. He's got a lot of pinkish color schemes on him. I don't really know the vibe of this. Kind of reminds me of a skateboarder, but at the same time, it's far out there with those color schemes. I don't know. Don't know what to think about this one. He's kind of got some Native American vibes, though. Look around his neck. That's interesting. I see some feathers there hmm I don't know not a bad skin by any means I like it very unique so this one looks like almost a cell shaded effect in fact I think there's quite a few cell shaded skins in here now I love cell shaded skins in Fortnite I can't honestly tell if this truly is one but it looks like one the problem is if you don't have accessories for them it's hard to make a combo because if you put a non cell shaded item such as a back bling or pickaxe on a cell shaded skin it doesn't match at all. It looks horrible, even if the colors match. They've got some Super Saiyan-like aura to them, though. That's pretty sweet. Looks like a very small character, however. Not sure what to make of that one, either. Look at this one. This is phenomenal. This kind of reminds me of a Final Fantasy character. So in every Final Fantasy, there's always a Sid. Kind of reminds me of a female version of Sid, almost like an engineer. Very sweet. Next up, we have a very awesome-looking female skin here. Look at that dress. There's ripples in it, that red, and then a little purple heart in there. I love her hair. The little highlights of red. And she's kind of got some creepy... I don't know what those are. Some kind of shoulder guards, but they're spiky. I would totally buy this and run it. Even though she's got a skirt on, it looks amazing. Next up, we've got a young man here. Looks like he's got a lot of silver armor on. Kind of get medieval engineer vibes from this guy as well. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Love that blue color. Nice shoes down there. He's got some sparring gloves on. Weird shoulder pad. He kind of looks like Tifu in the face, just a little bit, with that hair. He's got some ear pods in. A few tattoos as well. That's interesting. Very sporty, to say the least. Oh, my goodness. What is this? A wolf? This looks like straight out of... Looney Tunes right here. This is a Looney Tunes Wily e. Coyote right here. Well, I mean, that's interesting to say the least. I'm not sure what that thing around his chest is on his vest. It's a Coyote Wolf. Okay. Oh, I love this skin. Look at this. I'm not a fan of the headsets, though. Like, why did some of these skins have to have headsets on? It just, I get it, but I don't like it. She's got cool hair, though. Love the pink and black. Got some camel on her pants. I'd buy that one for sure. Ooh, this one's actually creepy. A lot of stitching on her legs. This must be a Halloween-y skin. She's got some emo tears crusted on her face. What's that tattoo on her stomach say? I can't make out the word. It almost looks like it says lean, but I don't know. It looks like a pirate ship, maybe? I, I can't tell what that is. I don't want to speculate because I can't really tell. She's got that ghost vibe to her though what is this another bionic arm skin a lot of bionic arms in fortnite for some reason look at his feet they're humongous and they look steel his abs are definitely on full display he's got some weird hair and his underwear literally says love war okay not sure what to think about that one look at this one a digital pixelated Jonesy. This looks like straight out of Minecraft or 
the classic Nintendo Entertainment System. I would have to see this in-game. I would buy this, but I would love to see what this looks like in-game. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Very blocky. Nintendo 64 graphics. Awesome. Okay, next is almost like a Gundam Wing skin. It looks like almost a full robot. The abdomen and the hips are robotic. I think I heard some people say this could be a Battle Pass skin because there's multiple styles for this one. Love the color scheme, though. Looks pretty solid. Okay, yes, yeah, so here's another style for it. So this is the humanized version. So maybe that one we just saw was the final form, and this is the default form. So clearly it's a female. Kind of strange color scheme there. Strange skin color as well. Almost like a purple ash. Oh, speaking of strange, what the heck is this? An emo devil? Got some punk rock hair with some horns. Looks like he's made out of goo. He's got some sweet pants and boots on, though. Yeah, devil vibes here. See that little string from his pants? Almost looks like a devil tail. Ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I would buy that one. Well, we're getting stranger as we progress. This is some kind of... I don't know. Rabbit? Look at the ears. Who's wearing a futuristic jacket? He's got skinny big bird legs plus weird shoes. I don't know. They just merged a bunch of weirdness together and said, Ta-da! <laughs> Alright, we got another devilish skin. I think this was going to be a uh, bundle coming up soon, right? This looks like the same skin that's been leaked, but a different style. She's got some wicked claws. I don't know that outfit she has on just gives me the creeps. It's merged with black and red. It almost looks like it's alive. It gives me creepy vibes like that. Oh man, what the hey better better is this? What kind of face is that? It's like a panda bear on a sumo wrestler's body that's being controlled by some <laughs> lightning bolts. What am I looking at here? I don't know, man. That's bizarre. He looks angry too. He has no guts. Just Blue Lightning. I wonder what this guy's name is. Blue Panda? Holy feet on this one. This girl's shoes are bigger than her face. This has got to be proportionally incorrect. And then what are those bear claws? She literally has bear claws as hands. I don't know what I'm looking at here. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Moving on. Speaking of not knowing what I'm looking at, what is this? There's just too much weirdness going on with some of these skins. It almost looks like a mechanized toucan, you know, the bird, with actual feathers made out of paper mache, and then he's got caution tape all along his robotic body. I don't know. Is this a bird? Somebody please help me. Well, we're moving on a little weirder. This looks like an emo astronaut. She's got hair coming out of the astronaut helmet. Definite emo vibes. I seem to recall that happening last time. The last survey skins we got, there was tons of emo skins. I don't know. Someone at Epic Games loves to create the emo scene. That's for sure. Not sure what her shirt says, though. All right, moving on. Well, more horns on this one. A lot of spindlies. Big bird legs again. Not sure what that emblem on the chest is. I'm assuming this is a male, but... I'm not 100% sure. All right, this kind of looks like it could be a shark tooths uh, concept. I see the shark, obviously. It's almost like a weird shark jacket, and you kind of get shark teeth vibes from the shoes as well. That's not bad. He looks evil, though. 100% evil. His face is giving me the creeps. Next up, we kind of got a Frankenstein devil skin here. So I get Frankenstein vibes because she's all stitched up. You can see on her legs and even on her neck. This kind of reminds me of a Halloween skin. But she's pink as well, so that's the devil vibes. I don't know. She's got a ba -bomb purse from Mario Brothers. Okay. Hey, what do you know? Another robot. With a mohawk. So, color scheme is all over the place. We got green, we got yellow, we got purple, we got blue, we got black. Yikes. Orange in there too. Once again, a robotic punk rocker. Okay, this guy kind of looks emo as well. Bizarre hair. 
Nice green, though. I love the green. There's a lime shade of green and a neon green. Nice jacket. Now, remember, these are just all concepts, so they could look way different when they translate into Fortnite, but this is what we got so far. Hey, look, another emo punk rocker. Are you kidding me? You got the definite 70s punk rock hair there. A metal-like jacket. Some fishnet stockings. Some big bell-bottom shoes. Can't read what the shirt says, though. Okay, broken heart pins on there, too. Yep, fully emos. Okay, what are we looking at here? I can't tell. This almost looks like another robot. The stomach doesn't look human, nor do the arms. It looks like she was kind of pieced together. She's got some sad vibes here as well. I like her hair. Kind of reminds me of an 80s look, just a little bit. Baggy pants and a fanny pack. Okay, classic 80s right there. So this one, this one reminds me of that pink skin we just looked at that had the bob purse, but almost like a secondary form. The hair is just fiery. The best way I could describe that. And there's obviously flames on one of her legs down there. That's not bad. Skull on her shirt. More evil vibes. Oh my, speaking of evil, look at this one. Holy smokes, look at her face. She's got devil eyes, creepy face, creepy clown hair. And almost a futuristic mesh-like see-through, I don't know, jacket. Lots of fluorescent pink, some spikes on her boots, and a rainbow belt. Hodgepodge of everything there. Boy, the colors are just getting more and more bizarre. Look at this one. Again, her whole outfit gives me almost alive-like vibes. Things that are alive that would be stuck to the wall and creep around. Ugh. Sadly, she does have long hair, and long hair in Fortnite is usually a disaster because the back blings get glitched, and I don't know. It almost looks like she has a hat on. Is that supposed to be a hat? A helmet? I don't know. But the color scheme is pretty cool. One arm is silver, the other arm is blue and rainbowy. Very unique, I'll say that. Oh! Okay, well, this is one of the widest characters I've ever seen in Fortnite. Not to body shame at all, but her hips are... Huge! I'm not sure what kind of vibes I'm getting here. She kind of has the Corella DeVille hair. And she's kind of cyborg-like as well. Look at the left of her hips. There's a big metal plate of some sort. I don't know. I just don't know with some of these skins. Well, here we got a futuristic Medusa-looking skin with some hexagons that look straight out of the Matrix. Almost looks like she has claws, too. If those are supposed to be snakes, I don't know. They kind of look futuristic. Like I said, I, ah, so many weird skins. Oh my goodness. We go from a futuristic Medusa to a brain wearing a suit. What is this, Krang's brother from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Going for a job interview? What am I looking at here? What's the emblem on his tux there? I, I don't know. Looks like a cube. And he's got a fish on his pouch. I swear they just randomly generate things and then say, hey, that's a skin in Fortnite. Okay, this girl looks happy at least. She's kind of got blobs for feet though. <laughs> Pink and gray and a little bit of green. She reminds me of one of those dolls that you open up and then there's a smaller version of the doll in there and then you open up another one and a smaller one in there. She's kind of got that face. Okay, well, here's a almost transparent female. Looks like you can literally see her veins. That's why I say transparent. I see some veins on the arms and legs. It's creepy. It's got some weird starfish-like things stuck on her face as well. Cool color scheme. Ah, oh, moving on down. I like this skin, but again, the hair is gonna just ruin it. Those pigtails in the front. We've had skins like that before, and it just looks so dumb in game and it glitches out all the time you got to be very careful when making skins in fortnite especially with the hair you don't want to ruin a skin by having bad hair well here's another far out 1960s color scheme kind of got bell-bottom pants and shoes on there some weird futuristic sunglasses and some very bizarre fashion design for sure this one reminds me of one of biff's gang members from back to the future you can see those 3D glasses. I like those. Kind of cool, though. She does not look impressed, to say the least. She looks angry. Well, this might be, I don't know, a weird version of Midas? I can't tell. It's got some gold on him. 
There's that symbol again. That symbol on the jacket has shown up multiple times. I don't know what to make of that. Very slender. Nice shoes, I guess. It's a fierce looking skin. Kind of tiger vibes, I guess. A lot of spikies, a lot of stripes, some claws for hands, and it literally says fierce on the jacket. Okay. Well, here we go. Nice color scheme here. Anything with orange in it, especially that color orange, I'm all in. Not sure what else to make of it. Again, kind of claws for the hands. We've seen that with tons of these skins. Glasses, too. Some pointy shoes. Well, who would have guessed it? More bell-bottom hippie pants. So we've had a lot of 1960-like outfits here. This straight up looks like disco. Some kind of disco theme. I guess there could be some Halloween vibes going on here. Got some large hair as well. Okay, here we go. An amazing looking jewels variant. Look at this. That orange, again, top notch. I would buy this 10 out of 10 times. It almost looks like an anime version of jewels. Amazing. So here's another remake. This is the alien skin. Oh, I'm blanking on her name. Well, if you played in chapter two, you probably remember who this is anyway. Nice little peace sign. This is pretty standard. Nothing really standout-ish for this one. Pretty low-key is what I'm trying to get at. Not bad. All right, well, this one's not your everyday run-of-the-mill skin. I could do without the ears, though. If there were no bunny ears on this, I think I would really enjoy this. Hopefully, it does come with the hood down style, though, because I would love to see this skin's hair. She looks like she has amazing hair, and the ears kind of just ruin it for me. I get that's the point of the skin. She's supposed to be some kind of rabbit. But the color scheme, amazing. The hairstyle, amazing. The hair color, amazing. Just need to put that hood down. Epic Games, if you're listening, please make a hood down style. Please, just for me. All right, this is a good one. I like this one. She's got one of those fans that can cool you off. Nice color scheme. Nice hair. I like this one. Have to see how that translates in-game, though. So this one looks like an anime skin as well. Can't see her mouth at all. Kind of hidden. She's got a ginormous zipper on the front of her shirt there. Some kind of weird armor, too. Kind of a unique color scheme, though. A lot of pink and purples. Cool. Oh, wow. Look at this guy. This looks like a boss. He's got some spiky shoes. Doing a finger gun there. And he's almost got a devilish, creepy skull face. If Fortnite China was still around, I wonder if this would even be allowed. I don't know. Cape looks cool, though. Looks like he'd have some sweet contrail effects. And again, he also has some weird devil tail things popping out of him there. See those devil tails in the back and one right under his armpit on the left? Interesting. Well, here we go. More devil vibes again. The devil tail. And what do you know? It's a futuristic cyborg robot mannequin thing. With bunny ears. This combines all the things I hated into one skin. Look at this. This is like a troll. A Tabor Hill troll skin. We've got bunny ears. We've got mannequin legs. We've got weird wires popping out. We've got claws. We've got hair that goes down to her butt that's going to glitch out every single back bling in the game. We've got devil tails. We've got high heels. This is the epitome of everything I don't like in Fortnite skins merged into one. If this is a crew pack, I'm going to cry. This is like a Master Roshi from Dragon Ball went into Rick and Morty and turned into Santa Claus. I get this is supposed to be a Santa Claus skin. It says ho 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 on his arm and he's got the beard, but he just looks dirty. I mean, it looks like a dirty Rick and Morty Santa Claus. Yikes. I don't know what they could be doing with that, but there you go. Another futuristic skin robot, but... There's like weird faces. One looks like Pinocchio on the right, Devil on the left, and there's three more on the backside. I don't get it. Can you swap his face? And what has he got on his arm? Look like little s'mores or brownies. <laughs> what is that? And then his feet are all weird. He's got like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle feet. Ah, oh, the weirdness keeps on coming. Okay, oh, this is the best one I've seen yet. I love this skin. Oh, but look at her stomach. She's a robot, too. No way. Still, I like this one. This gives me Renegade Raider vibes. Is this the Renegade Raider? I think it might be. This could be a Renegade Raider style. I would buy this, though. 
Robot or not, I love it. The green camel mixed with the pink and the black, I'm in. Well, this skin's missing half her face. What is that? She has no eyeball, no part of her nose, and half of her head is just disintegrated. You know who this reminds me of? This reminds me of Janimba from one of the Dragon Ball Z movies. Janimba, Janimba, Janimba. The fat version of Janimba. Not when he goes all strong, but he's made out of that weird bubbly stuff. That's what her face looks like. If you've never seen Janimba, look him up. Type in like Dragon Ball Z movie Janimba. I think it's spelled J-I-N-E-B-A. Maybe? I don't know. Ah, here we go. Another creepy devil skin. The face alone is frightening. I mean, that would scare me in-game 100%. I like the color scheme on the jacket, though. Very cool. He's got claws and a nice cape. Well, here's another faceless skin. I get Bloom vibes. Remember the Bloom skin? Yeah. Looks like she would fit well with the reality tree. She's probably in that set. Yeah, definitely get the tree vibes. All right, I like this one. A lot of pink and black in there. They've got the pastel color scheme for the hair. And she's kind of got some face paint near her mouth. I guess that's what that is. I don't know. I like this one. I dig it. Oh, boy. This is a female fox. Right? Okay. I do not like this, Sam I Am. Interesting color scheme, though. Bushy tail. If you're a fan of... Furry foxes, you might like this one. Ooh, I do like the color scheme on this. Dark blue, she's got a crystallized fan there. Like the hair, she's got a cool mask. Looks like it's a light color blue, but that dark color blue down below, I love that. Oh, here we go, another cyborg. One of the eyes is literally a fireball. Kind of looks like a scorpion fireball. That's weird. A lot of spikes, a lot of red and black. Hey, I'm a sucker for red and black color scheme, so I would probably buy this. Cyborg robot or not? Well, this is a unique skin. It's got a cat on the shirt. It kind of reminds me of the brine skin. That's the female skin that's kind of like a sea creature. I get jellyfish vibes from her head. But why is there a cat? What's a cat got to do with that? I don't know. Ooh, look at this. I wonder if this is going to be a Nintendo Switch skin. Horns, of course. Got to have horns. Other than that... Just a pretty strange outfit. I could see this being a crew skin. Oh, well, this guy's interesting. Just a black and white color scheme. Of course, he's got to have some kind of huge horned mask on his face, which will probably ruin the skin. But it doesn't look bad. A lot of evil vibes from some of these skins, that's for sure. Well, here's another Janimba-like skin from Dragon Ball Z. Again, just weird gel effects that split the body in half. Look, it's not even connected. There's no connection between the torso and the hips. I wonder if that means they, like, float around. I don't know. Lots of contrail near the face, too. Bizarre. All right, I like this one. This is good. Love the color scheme. What is that thing coming off her shoulder, though? It looks like a giant popsicle. I feel like that could get in the way. Unless that's a back bling, but they don't usually show back blings here. Love this skin, though. One of the better ones I've seen in the past few that we've looked at. Okay, I like this one too. Look at the color scheme on her hair. The nice lipstick on there. Oh, I see a samurai sword, so maybe they do show some back blings on some of these. Definitely get some samurai vibes from this. I like this. Looks good. Holy Halloween. Uh, I don't know what I'm looking at here. It's got a crown on its head. It's got no nose. Way too much gum showing. And some creepy, creepy teeth. A lot of tattoos? Are those tattoos? I don't know. I don't know if that's his skin or just some kind of weird outfit he's got on. Then he's got the Negan scarf going too. From The Walking Dead. I don't know. Very cool looking skin, but too creepy for me. Well, this one's not bad. Is that a dog bone on her hand though? A futuristic dog bone? Almost looks like she has a leash too. Maybe there's a... Oh, it is! Look! On her shirt there's a dog! Yeah! Okay, so almost like a dog walker vibe. And look at those futuristic fishnet stockings, I guess you could call those. Yes, there's got to be some kind of dog associated with this. Maybe a back bling. Maybe she could have a pet. That's cool. You can see the dog handprint on that little thing she's wearing. Hooked onto her stomach. Strap. 
Interesting. Okay, well, here's a remake. This is Torin, right? Torin, I think? She's got a very oceanic-looking vibes to her here. You can see right through her skin. Creepy eyes, though. Some yellow. I don't know. I like the deep blue, though. Now, this looks like a remake of Lace. So, Lace comes to the item shop fairly frequently. I'd recognize her face anywhere. Looks like they modified her just a bit. Got the fishnet stockings, some tattoos. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Lace, so I'd probably pass on this one. But there's a lot of Lace fanboys out there, fangirls, fanboys. I would buy this one. Love the color scheme, love the hat, love the gloves. Cool. Like that one. Here we go, another mannequin, robotic-looking skin. This one actually creeps me out. The face, the eyes. It's almost like a teenager trying to be trendy, but turned into a mannequin. Interesting. Okay, we just have a few left. I really, really like this one. You know what this reminds me of? A Fire Emblem skin. If you've ever played any of the Fire Emblem games, I like this. He's got an awesome medieval-like cloak, some armor on there. And then there's that bizarre symbol again on the chest. This is like the fifth or sixth time we've seen that. I would buy this. This is one of my favorites so far. Love it. Well, it looks like this is the same skin, just souped up in his armor. I'll be honest, though, I prefer the original one. The one we just looked at better than this. It just has more color scheme to it. But I get King vibes from this. Like Game of Thrones, Fire Emblem, King vibes. I like it. Pretty cool. Okay, this one is just a simple looking skin, but I really like it. Her face is phenomenal. I could do without that big bow in the top, but the outfit looks clean. Yeah, I really like this one. Okay, we got a uh, lizard reptile guy here. Kind of reminds me of Fonz. You know, the Fonz A hey, from Happy Days. Is that what the show is called? Happy Days? Probably not many of you will recognize that reference, but. I don't know. Kind of has some gangster vibes here. Look how well he's dressed. This is the nicest dressed reptile I've ever seen. Interesting. And you know what? I think that was the last one. So there you go. Those were all 75 plus skins. Let me know in the comments what do you think about them. I try to give my thoughts and opinions on each and every one. These right here seem to be the ones that were remade versions of skins we already have. So there's Jules, Renegade Raider, Jonesy. I think that anime one's name is Chaguza. I don't know if I said that right, but definitely a remake of one we already had. Torin, and then Joey. That was the name of the skin, Joey. I knew I would remember it eventually. So a lot of good skins in this survey, but like I said, a lot of robots, a lot of mannequin-like skins, a lot of devils. And of course, there's gonna be some Halloween skins because October and Fort Nightmares is creeping up. So let me know which ones are your favorite. Leave some timestamps down below so I can review and see which ones you guys enjoyed. There you go. My thoughts and opinions on all of the leaked skins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.